Fox, keep those eyes peeled. Peeled for what? For a jungle, that's what. The reactor's nestled deep in the heart of one. If that's the case, I think we're still a long ways off. Can this handle a jungle? Well, we'll soon find out, won't we? Rongad is just past these shallows. And Baga. Hey, up ahead. That our jungle? Indeed it is. Hold on, little Miss Carsick. We're almost there. Hooray. We'll need to carry on on foot. Oh, I meant to say, there's a village up this way. Fancy popping in? The reactor's not going anywhere, and I bet we could all do with a wee cat nap, eh? <laughs> sure, uh, let's. Uh-huh. Cloud, you okay? I just... I feel like I've been here before. about wanting to be our new best friend. How about giving us some insider info? Well, if it's dirty laundry you're after. Yeah. I have heard whispers about the new president's proclivities. You wouldn't believe how much he spends on those fancy suits. Oh, why did I even ask?
Come and let's order we out here. Unless we hop. <laughs> Talk about rustic. Then again, I went without Marco. Uh, it's not without its charm, is it? In fact, this could be a whole new string to the Shinra Resort's bow, eh? After the rural getaway. Cast off modernity and embrace eternity. Wouldn't be surprised how many people would go for it. Could be a nice little earn -off. We are, you furry fraud! Guilty! I knew this cat had two faces! Ah, uh, come on now! I'm only pulling your leg! Who are you kidding? You were literally built by the company! Probably stuffed you full of teeny tiny listening devices! Teeny tiny? The late president believed that bigger was always better. Small went against his philosophy. Knew him well, huh? Some nine to five nobody you are. Sure your name ain't Stamp? Pretty sure, aye. Might want to check. It's on you. 
Maybe our lucky food will be on the menu. Are these? They are! Gungaga mushrooms! They may be hard to come by in Midgar, but here? Here you can't move for the blasted things. Wow. Hmm. For a second, I thought you were someone else. Who are you people? Aye, you'll do. More importantly, why are you here? Not to survey the reactor, I presume. Ah, no, just to study it. We're on a wee field trip, you see? Welcome to Gungaga. I'm Sisne, Coalition Captain. And sorry, didn't mean to startle you before. Just doing our jobs. Back to your posts. Ma'am! Ma You'll get a clear view of the reactor from that hill. Make sure to pay your respects, though. Of course! <laughs> Come on. Way. 
You coming? Our village is a quiet one, as you can tell. Let's keep it that way. Don't get a lot of visitors, what with the jungle. Can't even remember the last time. But that's part of this place's charm, I suppose. ago, the reactor here suffered a catastrophic failure. It was old and couldn't handle the stress. It needed maintenance which Shinra never provided. And then one day... So, they're cheap as well. <laughs> this was the company's way of trying to make amends. I'm surprised they even made the effort. And thanks to the hard work of our people, Gongaga rose from the ashes, right? That's nice and all, but one memorial doesn't buy absolution. You guys must be tired. I know you've got things to do, but if you wanted to rest up... Wouldn't they say no? My house is just down there. Got an open door policy, so feel free. Woohoo! Don't mind if I do! <clears throat> I'm, uh, gonna take a look around. Seriously, get some rest, okay? Those Gungaga mushrooms you found? They're all yours if you want them. We got more than our fair share. Didn't settle down here until after the reactor incident. Place may not seem like much compared to Midgar. But it's more than enough for me. Telling species apart can be difficult. What looks like a Gungaga mushroom may in fact be poisonous. For me and my nose, the difference is obvious. But for someone like you, well, let's find out. Which of these do you think they are? right ones. Correct. I suppose this scent does make it rather obvious. The soil here is exceptionally easy on the paws, as if it exudes life itself. Why, hello, Cloud. Did you enjoy your buggy ride? The tires are reinforced to provide traction in even the most slippery of sands, which means you can explore the dunes at your leisure. This also means you can gather more detailed intel about the desert for me. I can't help but wonder where we'll meet next. So many fascinating possibilities. Don't forget to try some of our homegrown produce. Once things settle down, I could see myself moving out here, living off the land. Be a nice change of pace. <laughs> Just me, Marlene, and our little piece of paradise. <laughs> Wonder what kind of stuff we'd end up growing. Mushrooms. What? Because it's our lucky food? Don't tell me you believe that mumbo jumbo. Still, you might be onto something. Gregaga mushroom farming sounds like a license to print gear. <laughs> Shin was doing its damnedest to bleed the planet dry, but she still got life in her, and we gotta help her keep what's left. I am 
so, so bored, bored right out of my brain. If I don't try first, that y'all go insane. Cause I've got nothing else to do. I'm stuck here wasting time. But just wait, oh materia, I'll get back on the road and make you mine. I am so, so bored, bored right out of my brain. Nice song. Funny, too. Wrote it yourself? <laughs> Finally, someone recognizes my genius. Indeed, the amazing Yuffie is also a top-tier lyricist. Oh, I've got another song. Want to hear it? Sure. Here goes. I'll search high and low till I've gathered them all. I'll have orbs piled up about a billion feet tall. I'll have so much materia. I won't know what to do But until I can make you mine I'll just patiently wait And dream of you Don't forget to try some of them It's break time, boy! Please. Hmm? Your eyes. You're a soldier, aren't you? Um, was. You wouldn't happen to know our son, would you? Zach? <laughs> Are you all right? Fine. What did you say his name was? Zach. Zach Fair. Zach? Sorry. No. Our son just up and left one day, determined to chase his dreams. At first, he wrote us all the time, but... When I first saw you, I thought, maybe this is the girl he was always talking about. Sorry if I made you feel uncomfortable. I doubt I was the only woman in his life. Charming guy like Zack. <sighs> <sighs> Wherever he is, I hope he's enjoying himself at least. They do say no news is good news, right? They sure do. Say, if you do happen to see Zack, would you tell him that we miss him, and to please get in touch? Of course I will. We should probably be heading back, don't you think? What? Already? At least have something to eat before you go. Thanks, but we don't want to keep our friends waiting. <laughs> Another time, then. <laughs> Here. Sorry. Every time someone says they're from Midgar, we can't help but hope that person knows our son. A couple of bumpkins like us often forget it's a... Big city. 
All this talk of another war has me worried. But I know I'm not the only mother afraid for her son. That wasn't very nice of me. You remember me telling you about Zack, right? At the playground? How he was my first love? Yeah. This is where he grew up. And now that I'm here, it's... A lot. So when I saw someone who looked like him, I don't know. I had to say something. Didn't even occur to me to think how they would feel about it. Pretty selfish, huh? Waltzing in there, stirring up memories. I don't know. They didn't seem to mind. Sure they did. But thanks. So, the Zack guy. You still like him? <laughs> wow. You went there, huh? Maybe. He's never given me a reason not to. Nothing. No calls, no letters. Oh. Leaving you out in the cold like this? Forget about that loser. Hmm? He's a soldier, right? Then I hate to break it to you. But if he's been gone this long, the man is dead. Sorry. I'm gonna go lie down. Well, that clears that up. He definitely doesn't know who Zack is. Another time. Thought you were gonna rest. Children of the planet, open your hearts to the words of our mother. Beneath your rich, fertile fields, a rock runs deep. See how they dry their mushrooms here? Bet they'd make for a mean stock. Doubt there's much it wouldn't improve. Soups, pilafs, maybe even a pot roast. What sort of thing would you go for? Gonna go with the pot roast. Ah, why does that not surprise me? I remember Mom saying how Claudio's was the best she'd ever had. If you tell me what it was like, I could try and make it for you. Imagine eating Gungaga mushrooms every day. Now that's luxury for you. These shrooms are a Gungaga specialty. Visitors? <laughs> Something's up with the reactor. 